Hello guys, thanks for watching this video and for this time I am going to present you the intuition behind empirical distribution function. Uh, empirical distribution function is a cumulative distribution function that gives you the probability that then a random variable x is less than a given value of small x. And uh, in this example I will show you how to use empirical distribution function for data cleaning to uh, detect the data outliers to remove data noise and let's keep on and the first thing what you have to do is to import the library set modules so let's do it it's uh, numpy panda seaborn and matplotlib for data visualizations so the next thing is to import the data set and what I have to tell you about uh, raw data set is that this data set contains uh, many features about uh, real estate market in Vilnius uh, for rent not for sale but for rent and in this example we analyze uh, uh, we analyze uh, 1416 records in the database and uh, we will use uh, price per square meter per year because it's a rent market and so we we have to extract this column to the new data frame and this new data frame is nothing else than a single array For example you can see at 20 observation you can see at 20 uh, wallets of uh, price per square meter per year so for demonstration purpose we could leave it for four so okay uh, next thing what we have to do before data cleaning is take a look into raw data by graphic okay and we see a line curve and according to this curve you can see that the uh, average of uh, our data set is about uh, it's difficult to say it's like a uh, 116 or 60, 100 or 70, less or more, it's difficult to say. And uh, what you can see from this graph that I see the big outlier on the, on the right, and it's really strange horizontal, uh, vertical uh, direction on the left, as you can see right here. So let's see the same data in histogram okay it's looking more nice but uh, okay as we saw in uh, curve plot uh, we see that on the right we have a really big outliers area is right here because we can see a few obs observations are on the right that has a really big values of uh, price per square meter per year and uh, okay and this data noise uh, can lead to wrong insight wrong conclusions of our analyze so for this we have to make a data cleaning and and i suggest to use a empirical distribution function for this and the first thing what we have to do in this, uh, in this part to define empirical distribution function in python so this is the definition of this function okay and the next step is to calculate a quartiles in another word is a percentiles uh, that must be using in uh, empirical distribution function uh, quartiles means that uh, uh, means a part of our data set that correspond to our criteria for example uh, we want to find uh, properties that has uh, uh, 100 uh, euros per square meter per year or less how many observations match our criteria okay and uh, next thing is to next thing is to set a threshold for our outliers uh, for example in this part we assume that uh, 5% of our data set, of our raw data set, is outliers. 
and for example uh, we want to remove uh, 2.5% from the top and 2.5% from the down and in total we have a 5% five, 5 that we want to remove uh, in another word we want to remove a uh, uh, 2.5% with highest prices and 2.5% of observation uh, in the lowest price. So, okay, we said that we want to remove 2.5%. Okay, it's fine. And we calculate our outliers so we have uh, the result that. Uh, 2.5% uh, correspond to 91 uh, to 51 uh, euros per square meter per year and uh, 209 euros correspond to 97 and 5 percentiles. You can see this data on the graph and let's do it. Okay, uh, maybe in this place you'll get a more clear point and I think that uh, yes, it could be more clear in this part. Uh, so we set a 2.5% uh, with the lowest prices and 2.5% with the highest prices. So as you can see from these uh, lines, so this area corresponds to the highest prices and this area to the lowest prices. And according to our threshold, this part should be removed. And uh, this part contains only 5% of our data set. And that is inside of this box. Uh, it is here. It is a main data. This data is a clear data when we will remove these parts. So let's remove these parts and we assume that we have here outliers and what you have to say more in this place that uh, we can see this really straight line in the main part it is really good uh, result in this section and uh, in this small part we see horizontal almost horizontal line uh, that is different from this main part and we have a horizontal, almost horizontal line in this outlier area. It's really different from the main part. So we con uh, I confirmed that we set a correct values for our uh, threshold that identifying our outliers areas because we see that main changes is almost on intersect of uh, red line here and here so let's move on and let's clean the data and after cleaning the data we lost 73 wallets is in here we have a total 72 wallets and now we are having 1343 wallets in main part they are here inside this box so do the same uh, with clean data. Uh, we have just uh, calculated the quartiles. Uh, it is necessary for plotting this data. And okay, now after cleaning data, we have this kind of plot. And uh, as you can see, it's really different from this uh, because after removing all flyers, we have really nice distribution of our data. Now we couldn't see any changes after intersect parts, intersect points after here and here. And at this stage, if you remove outliers, for example, here and here, nothing changed because the direction in outlier zones and outliers areas are almost the same than in main part so if you if you 
put a line between this and this corner is almost totally correlating with the main part so if you remove uh, uh, outliers of observations uh, nothing happens so it is not necessary to do it but yes you can do it so we made uh, one iteration we, we had our raw data and after cleaning data we have a new data set it is a clean data of course we can make uh, uh, one more iteration by removing uh, uh, these outliers and we will get uh, more clean data so it's your decision what you do next but this is a technique how I clean data in real world uh, project in my current job and uh, uh, sometimes it's, it's work sometimes you need to combine this technique with another methods uh, but I suggest you to make some exploration between cleaning the data and see how your data is distributed uh, because sometimes uh, some, sometimes it's enough to remove some data some observation manually if you see some outlier uh, if you see some really strange observation like this ones so but if you have a really big data sets about uh, for example 5,000 10,000 or more you can do it automatically by using empirical distribution function as I show in this example so and the final result is this histogram where, where we can see that the average of uh, our uh, price per square meter per year is about 118 less or more uh, and let's take a look from the raw data yes maybe the average is the same almost the same but after cleaning the data we have really really nice distribution it's almost normal distribution that you can use in our analyze in next step uh, based on your task based on your goals and uh, this is a like a data preparation is really important part and uh, as you can see by using this kind of data distribution we can we can apply machine learning methods we can apply statistical exploration methods uh, we have to be sure that there are no any data outliers okay maybe on the right is one but it's not make sense too much so thank you a lot for looking to, for to watching this video uh, i hope to meet you in the next ones and I hope to tell you more about uh, uh, what is the difference between median and average uh, why in all cases I su su suggest you to use a median instead of uh, average uh, how to plot this kind of data and uh, in simple words I always suggest you to use a median because it's, it's more closely to the weight of center for, of your data for example if it's uh, center of uh, your data the median is almost uh, have the same location uh, when average goes more far from this point so thank you again for watching this video and me, meet you in the next ones